260 products reviewed, not only from the United States, but from Canada, the UK, Serbia, and Russia as well. Who's going to make my top 35 products this year? Let's get this special started. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and welcome to my 8th annual 2020 Christmas special where I reveal the top 35 products that I've reviewed this year. Now 2020 has been one crazy year for everybody due to this virus, but I was still able to review about 260 products, not only from the United States, but from Canada, the UK, Serbia, and even Siberia and Russia. And make sure you stay tuned for the end of this video. As I've done in the past, I'm going to reveal the uh, hot sauce maker of the year, my favorite product line of the year, and my single most favorite product of the year. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. All of these are in alphabetical order. I've got my notes right here, and we start off with uh, one of my favorite companies, and that is the Angry Goat Pepper Company. Congratulations to uh, Jason and Roberta Parker for making it back on the Hot One Season 13 with their brand new sauce called Goat Rider, and I was able to enjoy that on some pulled pork biscuit sliders. It's just a fantastic uh, combination of balsamic vinegar. Vermont maple syrup, molasses, cayenne peppers, roasted red peppers, and a touch of ghost pepper. Now this next sauce really blew me away. I believe I received this as part of the uh, Fuego box, the monthly subscription, and that is Barnacle Foods Bull Whip Hot Sauce with Alaskan kelp and peri peri pepper. And I enjoyed that on some grilled Old Bay Mahi Mahi with uh, butter parmesan linguine. I just love that salty, briny, umami kelp. Uh, and it also contains a delicious oily tomato, garlic, and peri-peri pepper sauce blend. Really, really good. Fantastic on grilled fish. Bayou Gotham Hot Sauce is another one of my favorites for the year. Now, Scotty Peppers has captured the zesty essence of a crawfish boil in a bottle with cayenne, crab boil, garlic, onions, celery, citrus, and even red potatoes and yellow corn. And that was the, the Bayou uh, Bure, Louisiana boil hot sauce from Bayou Gotham. Now I've got one here. This is from Bear River Bottling. Uh, this is another one of my favorites. This is the King of Sting. This is a honey bacon hot sauce. This stuff is made with real bacon and it is super, super delicious. This uh, next one here, uh, you know ZZ Top? Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top and uh, singer-songwriter Tim Montana uh, joined forces and they created their Bees and Teas Whisker Bomb uh, hot sauces and I enjoyed both of them but I really love this hot one. This is a uh, made with fermented um, habanero peppers and this is uh, produced by the Panola Pepper Company so it is really really super delicious. Born to Hula Cayenne hot sauce is another one of my favorites this year. I enjoyed that on some home fries, sausage, and scrambled eggs. I don't think there's anything that I don't like from Born to Hula. Just an excellent, simple cayenne pepper hot sauce. Brantford's Original has uh, heated things up with their extreme ghost pepper hot sauce. Uh, it's a rich tomato, onion, garlic hot sauce. One of the best um, ghost pepper sauces I've ever tasted and I enjoyed that on a cheese omelet. Now former uh, pro wrestler Brimstone uh, has teamed up with uh, Torchbearer sauces and I really love their Torchstone Thai hot sauce. I enjoyed that on some fried rice. Just an excellent sauce. Now this other, this next one comes all the way from Russia and this is from the Chili Club NSK and I awarded it, their, all of their hot sauces are fantastic, but I really enjoyed the Bloody Rock. Uh, I had that on a, a homemade pepperoni, mushroom, and onion non bread pizza. Just love the flavor combination. It's made with both fermented and fresh chili peppers, Carolina Reaper, ground chipotle, smoked ghost pepper, and spices, tomatoes, onion, and garlic. It's just fantastic. Now, here's the next one, guys. Uh, this is not a hot sauce, but believe it or not, this is a, 
a um, sriracha hot sauce. Well, I thought it was something else, but let me continue here. Uh, this is his red jalapeno sriracha from Daddy Cool's Chili Sauce. Uh, this is this smells like sriracha. It's just so fragrant. It's full of garlic. It smells exactly like a sriracha should smell like. It is just fantastic. And I enjoyed that on a uh, cheese omelet. All right. This next company is from Danny Cash. He's a veteran in the hot sauce industry. He's been uh, doing this for uh, about 20 years now. Um, I awarded it to his Dirt Rider, the Garlic Ghost Chili Hot Sauce. Just a fantastic blend. I love garlic and I love ghost pepper. So this was super, super delicious. Now this next company um, sent me all nine of their hot sauces, so they kept me pretty busy. This is a veteran-owned company located in um, Franklin, Tennessee, and this is from uh, Dash 10. And I really love this one. This is their SEER. And you know, SEER training in the military teaches you how to survive, escape, resist, and evade. Now this is uh, pretty hot. I enjoyed this on some pizza. It's got fermented... Um, uh, reaper peppers in it and habanero peppers and pineapple just super super delicious okay let's see what we got next this next one here is from elijah's extreme and this is the one they actually went down um to costa rica to uh, get this made and to finalize it this is elijah's original handcrafted roasted pepper hot sauce Super, super delicious. A very simple, clean tasting um, roasted pepper hot sauce and it's super delicious on eggs. Okay, let's get this next one here. Next one here is from uh, Flashpoint Sauces, Peach and Arrow. Now, what could be better than Sweet Peaches Habanero and Fireball Whiskey? And I enjoyed that hot sauce on some country ham, fried eggs, and grits. Just super delicious. Now, I love a good black garlic sauce, and this is a good one from Flavor and Fire with their Columbus black garlic hot sauce. Um, I just really enjoyed that on a portobello mushroom ravioli with a rabiata sauce. It's, it's a blend of chili peppers, molasses, brown sugar, black garlic, and soy. One of the best uh, black garlic sauces out there. Now, this next company um, is one of my favorite hot sauce companies. Um, he kept me so busy all year long with uh, many different um, hot sauces to review, so it was kind of hard just to pick one. But this is Gendo's Hot Sauce, and I awarded it to their Hard Neck Romanian Red. Uh, that's a collaboration that Chris Gender did with Garlic Breath Farm. It's a strong and pungent aroma and flavor of the Romanian Red Porcelain Hard Neck Garlic. It is just absolutely delicious. Uh, and garlic breath inducing, that's for sure. I enjoy that on some linguine a la bolognese. Now this next one here is from Gourmet Hemp Foods and it is their Hemp Hottie Sauce. I started off the year, uh, I believe, with this uh, particular hot sauce. I enjoy this on some chicken wings. It's jam-packed with five distinct peppers, ancho chilies, jalapeno, serrano, arbo, and habanero. It's made with domestic hemp seed oil and uh, it's just got a super delicious flavor. Now this next one here is from one of my favorite uh, hot sauce companies. Um, I refer to them as the True Chili Head Hot Sauce Company and this is Hellfire Hot Sauce and I just had to give it to this one, the brand new Chocolate Cherry Hell. Check that out. Now here's a picture of what I did with this one. I wanna show it to you. I had this on a Chocolate Cherry Bourbon Coke Float. Absolutely amazing. Hell's Kitchen Hot Sauce has created one of the best taco sauces I've ever tasted, and that was their Taco Cat Hot Sauce. I enjoyed that on some steak and egg breakfast tacos. Now, if you love a good scorpion hot sauce, this next one will really blow you away because it's pretty darn hot. And that's High Spices Hobra Trinidad Maruga Scorpion Hot Sauce. I enjoyed that on some pizza, and it just might be one of the very best scorpion sauces I've ever tasted and I think the way that Justin uh, makes this from High Spice is he really cooks it down and lets it slow cook and simmer like he's making a a pasta sauce and I think that makes all the difference in the world super super delicious with Maui onions garlic apple cider vinegar Maui honey uh, it's just absolutely amazing 
Now this next one, let me get a drink of water. And this next one, when I uh, I first reviewed this or first tasted this one, it really blew me away um, because this is a Korean ginger hot sauce from Horseshoe Brand. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It uh, includes both Korean gochujang, which is the fermented red pepper paste, but it also includes dinjang, which is the fermented soybean paste. It also has cherry puree, and they also collaborated with uh, Immune Shine's Classic Ginger Elixir, which is amazing. It's got shiitake mushroom powder, scorpion pepper powder, and it is one of my favorites for the year. Okay, next up we have a collaboration that um, Tim Myers did from Hothead of, Hotheads Official. He teamed up with uh, Rob Coleman of the Seven, Plot, Seven Pot Club. They each grew a blend of different seven pot peppers to create this sauce. Uh, so this is a collaboration that he did. This one's called Scoville Scalet, a seven pot and Trinidad scorpion hot sauce. Truly amazing. Super, super uh, delicious. Okay, hotter than L. I awarded it to the 1901 Roasted Red Ale Hot Sauce. Had that on a cheese omelet. Now, um, what Dino did with this one is he used the 1901 Roasted Red Ale. I think it's brewed there in Jacksonville. With roasted tomatoes, a red habanero mash. It is super delicious. Now, uh, Drew Jacobson and Steve Best of uh, Hurtberry Farm created a masterpiece, in my opinion, and that is their Chlorifier Thai-style churrasco hot sauce. And I enjoyed that on uh, some what I call Brazilian churrasco chicken skewers and served that on a bed of coconut saffron rice. Uh, marinated with this uh, sauce is just fantastic. Um, they make some of the best hot sauces I've ever tasted. It's a blend of fresh Thai and uh, Brazilian ingredients. Now here's another one, guys, that blew me away when I first uh, tasted this one. Um, this is the Black Garlic Bacon from Jersey, Byronf Jersey Barn Fire Hot Sauce. These guys, what they did with this one um, is just absolutely brilliant. They have actually captured the both flavors of a black garlic and bacon in one hot sauce, and it's just super, super delicious. Now, Scott Zolkine of Lucky Dog heated things up a little bit for the first time, I believe, by adding uh, using Carolina Reaper peppers, and he created a really delicious hot sauce, and that is Hellhound. That is his fire-roasted pepper sauce with Carolina Reaper, mango, and tamarind. And just check out that awesome label, award-winning label as well, Hellhound. Super, super delicious, and I enjoyed that on some saute beef. And that's pretty darn hot, so you gotta be careful with that one. Uh, one of, another one of my favorite companies is Mikey V Foods, uh, and that is the garlic scorpion hot sauce. Absolutely amazing. That bottle did not last long at all. I enjoyed that on some cheese ravioli with marinara sauce. Made with a, it's made with a blend of tomatoes, onions, and loads of garlic. And one of my favorite flavor profiles is a tomato, onion, and garlic hot sauce. Now, this next one here, guys, is a Jim Campbell classic. Have you ever heard of Jim Campbell? Well, he is the... Uh, Indiana firefighter that started the company Mild to Wild Pepper and Herb Company. Uh, no longer, he sold the company, but these products are still being made. And this is False Alarm. One of the best um, cayenne pepper and cumin hot sauces I've ever tasted. This stuff is just amazing. I enjoyed that on some scrambled eggs. Super, super delicious. Now, this next company uh, has been in business since 1986, guys. So, congratulations to Chuck Evans and his Montezuma brand. Been in business for 34 years, and I love this one. This is a very, very special spicy red sizzling garlic hot sauce. Super, super delicious. Love that on eggs. Now, here's a... Uh, one that uh, this is not a hot sauce uh, this is one of my favorite companies this guy is from the uk adam marks everything he sends me is just outstanding uh, so it's very hard to pick just one but i thought i would give it to this one 
This is a ketchup and it is amazing. This is Max's Urban Ketchup from Mr. Vicky's from Adam Marks. I think he named this after his son, Max. Um, just silky smooth, full of fresh tomatoes um, and just spices. It's just absolutely amazing. Really, really delicious. Now this is a new company I started reviewing recently and I'm really impressed with their flavor profiles. Um, they're all different. And this is Reaper Rob's Colorado Hot Sauce and I'm giving it to this one. This is the Reaper Sauce. Not super, super hot for a Reaper Sauce, but it's just a fantastic blend of onions and garlic and uh, Reaper peppers and habanero peppers. A little bit of agave, just to get a syrup to give it a little bit of sweetness. Super, super delicious, just amazing. Okay, we're getting here near the end here. Now this next sauce is another one that blew me away. Um, you know there's a lot of truffle hot sauces on the market, um, but this is a super good one, guys. This is from the Seed Ranch Flavor Company, and this is their Truffle Hound Gourmet Truffle Hot Sauce. Super, super delicious. Unlike some other truffle hot sauces on the market, this one um, is not really sweet, but it's super, super savory. It's just got a real mushroom vibe and essence to it. It's made with a lot of very, very healthy ingredients. Um, no gums, no preservatives, no refined sugar, no colors, no soil. Uh, really nice, not overpowering truffle flavor, but just an umami flavor bomb in a bottle. So this is a super, super delicious, delicious one, guys. Okay, let's make sure I get these in order here. Seed Ranch. Okay, the next one here is the... Uh, very cool company because of these bottles check this out the general's hot sauce and this one's their hua jalapeno absolutely delicious made with 86 percent peppers guys i love this company i love the fermented aged flavor of their pepper sauces so this was really really delicious i enjoyed this one on some scrambled eggs okay now this next company here this is not a hot sauce this is something totally different but i just had to give it to them because this stuff is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love their hot sauce. And I also love their pasta sauces. This is Truff Pasta Sauce. Their Black Truffle Pomodoro. Now they do have a spicy uh, Arrabbiata, which I did enjoy as well. They're both super, super delicious. But I'm just giving it to this one, the uh, Pomodoro. Really absolutely amazing on pasta dishes. Now this next company, this is I believe the number 35. This is the last one guys. This is uh, from a company in Canada. I enjoyed all of uh, his products, but I'm gonna award it to the, uh, I almost gave it to Boogeyman, but I'm gonna give it to this one. This is the bad guy sauce. Sweet Carolina Reaper hot sauce from Chris Badignac of the Villain sauce company super super delicious i had this on some stuffed bell peppers with rice and beef and it was just amazing okay let's get down here to the end here uh, i think we're doing pretty good now um, i reviewed a lot of barbecue sauces this year um, and so i decided to name my favorite barbecue barbecue sauce and there was all of them are good and let me just say this of all the 260 products that i reviewed this year guys Everything is really, really good, but I just have to pick the cream of the crop. I've got to pick the 35. Uh, but uh, since I reviewed quite a few barbecue sauces, I thought I'd pick one. And this is going to Red's, Red's Hot Sauce, but this is Red's Barbecue Sauce. This is their Memphis style. This stuff is absolutely amazing. A little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, like a Memphis style barbecue sauce should be but it also contains some super, super savory ingredients as well. Okay, best barbecue sauce. Now, the hot sauce maker of the year. Now, this guy blew me away. Him and his wife stayed extremely busy this year. It seemed like they just got more busy this year uh, by making videos and creating and doing collaborations. And uh, this is a guy that won hot sauce maker of the year back in 2018. But from what I've seen him do, the flavor profiles that he creates, I've just got to award it once again to Chris Ginder. And of course, is my, my wife Mary of Gindo's Hot Sauce. Just super delicious products. So well-deserved, uh, Chris and Mary. Okay, now here's another one. Uh, 
that uh, blew me away this year. Um, when I award the product line of the year, I usually want to pick a, a product line. It's usually hot sauces, that at least four or more. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And this company actually had nine. Very well done. They've got something for everybody. They've got mild all the way up to, I think I gave their hottest one a nine out of 10. And that go the product uh, line of the year goes to David Adams and his company Dash 10 hot sauce just amazing uh, flavor profiles uh, awesome labels uh, really well done and well deserved so that is my product line of the year okay we have come down to the last one guys um, this is my best product of the year the single best product that blew me away and I have to give it to this one guys this is Jersey Barn Fires Black Garlic Bacon. Absolutely amazing. I love black garlic. I love bacon. They have captured the best of both in one single hot sauce. So congratulations, guys. Jersey Barn Fires Black Garlic Bacon. My single best product of the year. Okay, guys, that's it. I made it. Uh, not too bad. I'm usually around this. Well, yeah, around the same time, 21 minutes as I usually do. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. I'd like to thank all of the hot sauce makers that sent me products to review this year. I not only uh, receive products to review, I purchase a lot of products, guys. Uh, but that's uh, my Christmas special for this year. I'd like to wish all of you and your families a very Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Stay safe out there and stay tuned for January 2021. The best is yet to come. It's going to be an awesome year and I've got things lined up to get started with so I'll make sure you continue to watch. All right, thank you so much guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.